um, espresso flavor knocked down by the, um, the perfectly foamed milk. It has a tan, not a burnt uh, thing going with the milk, and it's um, a sensational flavor. At one point you wanted to start your own? I have brand? my own coffee now. I, I mentioned this to him and um, he's going to test it out. My coffee is organic, fairly traded, uh, an exquisite taste, and um, it's uh, in a blind test. I chose my coffee over uh, Starbucks, a very popular brand of coffee. Yeah. And if this went into a blind test over your coffee? It would be, it would be pretty tricky. I would <laughs> hope I'd pick mine, but this is, this is awfully good. It is? Yeah. Okay. Because I won't serve you the coffee we drink in uh, this place. R regular, regular, <laughs> regular coffee. Okay, good. Um, Uli is gone. Uli is uh, gone within. And Uli is experiencing um, this ocean of pure consciousness that's within every human being. We are on the surface. And transcendental meditation is a mental technique that allows any human being to dive within easily and effortlessly. Why is it easy? Why is it easy? Because every deeper level of mind, every deeper level of intellect has more happiness. And the mind wants to go. Let go and you just dive. And you experience unbounded, infinite consciousness in within every human being. It's so beautiful. But in your book, you, there's a chapter called Tower of Gold, and you say that pretend you are the Empire State Building. Can you describe Uli as the Empire State Building? For sure. Uli as the Empire State Building is now um, taking an elevator down even below the building. Transcending means to go beyond. Uli is experiencing the deepest level of life. And so he's left the building, he's experienced unbounded awareness, and because of he's experiencing it, that experience enlivens it and it grows. So Uli is bringing gold up into the Empire State Building. At the same time as he's bringing gold, he is removing garbage. Room after room after room of garbage we've collected in our building, it's going what, away. What kind of garbage? Stresses and strains and imp all kinds of things blocking the flow of pure consciousness. And stress and strain puts so much garbage. It's like a balls of barbed wire in us. All we have to do is take our attention to the deepest level, pure consciousness, and those barbed wire things start to dissolve. So he's cleaning the building and bringing in pure gold in the form of pure bliss consciousness. And uh, this is a thing for all human beings. This ocean of pure consciousness is also absolute creativity. Mm -hmm. Everything that is a thing, they say now, modern science says it as well, Vedic science has always said it, everything that is a thing has emerged from this field. This is I the struggle with getting enough ideas for this show every day because we are broadcasting all the time. I understand. Ideas. Catching the big fish is about catching ideas at a deeper and deeper level. So we want to get good ideas. How do, they, how do we get them and where do we get them? Picture your ball of consciousness. We all have a certain amount of consciousness, but it isn't going to get any bigger unless we take our awareness to the unbounded ocean. You experience that, the ball of consciousness starts to grow. Now we can catch ideas at a deeper level. They're coming up but we don't see them until they enter the conscious mind. Now, bing, there's an idea, like that. You expand that ball of consciousness more and more, you get them at a deeper level, deeper level. Understanding grows, appreciation grows. As negativity is receding, and ne negativity like anger and fear and stress, depression, they'll block the flow of ideas. So negativity lifts, the consciousness expands, Ideas are caught more easily, more understanding of those ideas. The deeper the idea, the bigger the idea, the more information there is. And it's a, an intuition. The knowing how to get something to feel correct grows. It's an ocean 
of pure knowingness. You experience it, this stuff grows. It's an ocean of pure love. You experience it, it grows. So much appreciation for everyone, everything. It grows and grows. One of my favorite uh, David Lynch movies is uh, Mulholland Drive. And you got the idea for the storyline of Mulholland Drive during meditation? I didn't get the idea for the whole storyline, but at a certain point, because Mulholland Drive was started out being a TV pilot. A pilot for TV is an open-ended story. It doesn't end. So I had this open-ended story. ABC Television did not like that story, and they canceled it. Now I'm sitting there with an open-ended story and Canal Plus in, in France said, we would like to give you the opportunity to make that into a feature. And I thought, this is so beautiful. And it took a long time for the legal things to be worked out, but when they were worked out and the green light went to make it into a feature, I had zero ideas. Okay. I know that feeling. Yes. I sat down, because you don't use meditation to get ideas, you use meditation to expand that consciousness, and then you get your ideas more after meditation. You come out so refreshed, so much energy, so much you know, power to do things. And But in this case, this one particular time, I'm diving within, and as I say, like a string of pearls, all the ideas came to use what had gone before and and make it to a complete you know story so it was a it was a beautiful blessing how does ole have a sense of time now it's it's called uh, restful alertness while ole is experiencing the deepest level his mind is very alert and hearing everything and uh, so he's so hearing it's, it's our interview? Yeah, you got this kind of thing going. Deep, 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 and, and completely alert. And um, it's, um, it's a phenomenon of this ancient form of meditation. But sound is no barrier. One of my best meditations was in a small room. On the other side of the wall, a man was jackhammering a sidewalk. And okay. as he jackhammered the sidewalk, it was like waves of bliss for me. So you were able to put, uh, it, so it was beautiful. Noise is no barrier. It's better when it's quiet. It's better, but noise is no barrier.